This is unit three, week three, question number three. What was the election of 1824? There were four candidates running for president. Many of major elections in U.S. history have four candidates. 1824, 1860, 1912, all pivotal elections. The era of good feelings, dumbest name ever, was the period after the end of War of 1812 until this election. The Federalist Party was mostly dead. There was only one political party, the Democratic Republicans, the old party of Jefferson. But now that party starts to fracture into different groups. The four candidates running for election in this particular campaign are one, John Quincy Adams, representing the Federalist area of New England. There are, there's no more Federalist party but the old values of New England. The second candidate was William Crawford, whose support was in the South. And Andrew Jackson, the, the hero of the Battle of New Orleans from the War of 1812, his support was in the South and in the West, but with some national appeal. And then Henry Clay, a guy from Kentucky, also in the West. Of course, West meant at that time, you know, just past the Appalachian Mountains. Henry Clay was known for his negotiation skills and his idea of a national system that we should have government providing roads and help for building movement West. The four candidates split all the electoral votes. So at the Electoral College, the vote, ja Andrew Jackson had 99 votes. John Quincy Adams had 84. William Crawford had 41. And Henry Clay had 37. According to the constitutional structure, the top three candidates advance if no one has a majority. So it went into the House of Representatives, where it was one vote per state. And so Henry Clay was canceled. But what happened in the election? He told his supporters to vote for Andrew Jackson. I'm um, sorry. He told his supporters to vote for John Quincy Adams, not Andrew Jackson. So Adams supporters plus Clay's supporters made a large enough majority that John Quincy Adams became president. Subsequently, he made Henry Clay, the Secretary of State, who was eminently qualified for the job. And previous to this time, every president, almost all of them, had been the Secretary of State and had gone on to be president. So it seemed like Jackson was furious. He called it a corrupt bargain. He just gave his support in exchange for the plum job. And the plum job probably meant he was going to be president. What's the result? The era of good feelings ain't feeling so good. The Democratic-Republican Party splits into two the Democratic Dash Republicans and the new party of Andrew Jackson, the Jacksonian Democrats, who become the modern day Democratic Party. They accuse Adams of a corrupt bargain. Adams is going to be a one term president. Four years later, Jackson's going to start all these traditions, national campaign platforms, and he's going to come in to be the president. And that's it from some guy in an Aloha print shirt.